Hello and welcome to the third part of my Kerbal Space Program plugin tutorial series. We got a window to display with a text label in the last video, but it looked fairly bland using the Unity 3D default style, so I thought that it was time to delve a little bit into GUI styles. So in this video we'll start off by creating a style initiation routine, which we're only on once when required. Then using the Kerbal Space Program default skin we'll give the window and label a basic style. Finally setting the window width using its own GUI style instead of relying on the layout option that is currently being set in the horizontal area. Ok down to some programming, our goal here is to have two GUI styles, one for the window and one for the label, that only get set once when the module has first started. So to start off what we'll need to do is set, actually set up the styles themselves. So uh, private GUI style and we need a window style and we also need a label style so this is going to set out some memory space for them and we also need a private boolean value of has initiated styles um, and we'll set that to false to begin with there because it wouldn't have initiated them and now let's uh, make a method for actually initializing the styles. So private void init styles, and we'll just put has initiated styles equals true. So once that's run, the has initiated styles will then go to true because it's done all of its work. Now on on start, we will put in an if statement. So if it has not initiated the styles uh, initiate them and it will that will mean that it will only run once uh, now going on to actually setting out the styles themselves um, where we've got GUI layout dot window at the end here if you put in uh, window style so we're going to give the window its own style and we're also going to uh, give the label its own style and for the window style itself we're going to set a width actually in there so there's no reason now to have the width set in the uh, begin horizontal because all that was doing was stretching out the window before of which now it's going to be in the actual style itself so now in initiated initializing um, styles we will need uh, window style equals new GUI style and then this is where we get onto the default skin for Kerbal Space Program. It's called highlogic.skin and we want the window skin from that and for window style we will set uh, its fixed width to 250 um, floating points and just need to put a semicolon there and now for the label style, so label style equals new GUI style, same highlogic.skin and now label in there. Uh, the main thing that you, you'll probably need to do here is also uh, label style dot uh, stretch width equals true. Um, because we're just getting the skin, the actual the colouring and everything like that from High Logic. We're not getting any of the default parameters which Unity had in before, and stretch width is one of them. So having stretch width in there will stretch the label width out to the width of the window or the area that it's in. It won't actually stretch the text, just the width of the label, so it doesn't go over multiple lines. So let's save that. Let's build the project and let's go and start up the game. OK, now that the game has started, let's go to start game, resume saved, and then this is everything that was set up before. So let's just go to launch pad, which should have our command pod with just our plugin on it. OK, now that it's loading up, as you can see in the top corner here, we've got our window and it looks very different. It's actually taking on the high logic skin, which is the default skin for Kerbal Space Program. So we've got this as a title and this is a label. If we didn't have the stretch width on there, what we'll find is this is will be on one line and a label will be on the next line because it wouldn't have stretched across the whole window it would be going down using word wrap 
and I must thank you for watching through this basic GUI styles tutorial video. If you like this video or found it informative, please remember to thumb it up and subscribe for more.